Hello and welcome back to Chamber of Secrets Part 12. And in this part, we will be attempting to go to Gilderoy's private lesson that Harry hates because it's Gilderoy and he has every right to hate him because Gilderoy is a terrible person. Gilderoy sucks. G Everyone Gilderoy sucks hard. Pot is a parcel now. Everyone knows that's the mark of doop, a dark wizard. Doop, 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 Why doop. is being a parcel mouth the mark of a dark wizard? Because Salazar Slytherin was a parcel mouth. But he wasn't the dark wizard, though. He was just an asshole. Well, because Voldemort was a parcel mouth. But nobody. Yeah, but nobody. But again. Hmm. Although, although uh, Voldemort is a uh, is a is a dark wizard and an asshole, just because he's a parcel mouth doesn't mean that all parcel mouths are that. Well, maybe they've never heard of another parcel mouth. It's come to fit. That is quite possible. After all, parcel. Parcel mouth is a, apparently a very rare gift in the in the wizarding world, which is once it shouldn't be. Well, um, what I was about to say that the heir of Slytherin, Voldemort, and Harry were the only were the only three characters. No, as revealed in the Half Blood Prince, when Harry starts revisiting Voldemort's origins, he comes to find out that his, uh, his Voldemort's mother's family all spoke to each other in parcel tongue. Ah. Yeah, that's that's how they communicated. Guess what, Harry? Hermione is in the hospital wing. The polyjuice potion turned her into a cat. Seems like the hair from Millicent wasn't from her at all. I hope Madame Pomfrey doesn't ask too many questions. Anyway, I suppose I should be going to the private lesson with Lockhart. I kind of like how this game peppers uh peppers in narrative details as you as you go from place to place. Yep. I mean, we've said repeatedly about how the, 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 the video game cannot possibly present this information in the same way that either the book or the movie has, but I, I, like, I kind of like some of the liberties it's taken so far. Terrible news about young Mr. Creevy being petrified, not to mention poor Mrs. Norris. No need to worry, though, as your defense against the dark arts teacher... I'll save the day. No, you won't. Watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to. Watch Do my expensive wand. And you will learn Verdimilius Duo. Are you ready? And this is the last spell that we'll be getting, which will, which means that we can finally, stylish. after we pass this lesson, we Just can like successfully me. go and get the rest of Perfection. the uh, famous Wizards card story about the castle. Perfection! The circle gets a little smaller. We're going faster now. That's the easy one. Uh, no, we don't actually. Oh, it winds up again. <coughs> Excuse me. Splendid. Perfection. I, I love that. I love that thing they do in movies where the character is standing next to a photograph of himself, but both the character and the photograph are doing the exact same pose. <laughs> one more to go. Get ready. Mm, does Gilderoy know how to do other poses? I don't think so. No, he he has he has two primary appearances. One is very cheekily, you know, putting his hands on his hips like I'm fucking amazing, and the other is him running away like a goddamn coward. Yeah, both perfectly appropriate, I think. And there we go. Yay! The triple A. You've earned a great A. Congratulations. A splendid. is for Christine splendid. Punk. Excellent. Quite excellent. And so to business. Doopy doo. Time to put the spell you've learned to practical use. Now, Harry. This is the only the thing that, that Gilderoy Lockhart is good for in this game and in general. Duo spell. He what actually allows us to practice for the Millie's duo before, uh, before we go uh, uh, scouting out the rest of the cards. <laughs> Run, 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 jump, goddammit, run, run. Do you think that if Gilderoy had retained his memories, um, he would have he would have joined up with uh, Voldemort during the Battle of Hogwarts? That is an interesting question. Um. I remember that Lockhart becomes a lot more benign when he loses his memories. So I would have to say not. I'll have to watch myself in a few years' time. 
or you'll be stealing my job. No, Gilderoy, you don't have a job at the end of the year. All right, food. this is going to happen now. Valentine's Next. Day. <laughs> no, I am thankful that I never had to experience this particular Valentine's Day. Although first, the for the house cup continues. but first, now the sec the second third the second dead trimester of Hogwarts is ending. Let's see how we did. Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? Slytherin. Fuck you. Slytherin. I'm awesome. Gryffindor. Man, we're kicking ass. Gryffindor are in the lead on house Point. Dude, this is a foregone conclusion. We win the, the house, house cup. I have never seen... I have never seen a point where, um, where if you if you go for a hundred percent in this game, you're guaranteed the house cup. Oh yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, Harry. How many cards have you received? Uh, so far, I've only received um, forty-six. Hmm, but the day is still young. That is I've way too many gold, Roy. Surprise for you and the rest of the students at Hogwarts. My friendly card-carrying cupids. How are you, Harry Potter? Stay there. I've got a musical message to deliver to you. Valentine's card. So, what student would have sent oh, this to them, or was it, or was it a message from Gilderoy? It was, it was Ginny actually. Ginny, Ginny sent the, <gasps> sent the Cupid after him. Uh, because then, okay. because then the Cupid sings his little song. Da, 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 da. His eyes are green as a toad. He is truly mine, he's really divine, the hero that killed the Dark Lord. <laughs> it's not it's not a very charming Valentine's Day poem, but that was it. <laughs> it's one fucked up Valentine's Day. <laughs> it is one fucked up Valentine's Day, especially with crumbling bridges. Why are there crumbling Bridges on Valentine's Day. Harry should be screaming, Help! <laughs> and one more section. How very Crash Bandicoot of this game. It's not a boulder, it's a Cupid. <laughs> Do you think Crash Bandicoot would actually run away from the Cupids? Oh yeah, I mean, let's let's say there was a brief subplot for at least one of the crash levels where Crash was being he was being stalked by an amorous uh fan, let's say. So his job was to escape the amorous fan at all costs, and if she catches Crash, Crash dies. <laughs> mm. Because then, because uh, then Tana comes out of nowhere and hammers him in the atmosphere. Oh yeah. Well, actually, no. Fla Tana, Tana dumps Crash. Yeah, at the end of Crash. At the end of Crash, one. End of crash yeah. one, yeah. Onto the first page. Excited, Harry loaded up his quill and wrote, "My name is Harry Potter." So I would think then that Tana would be. Happened. She would just be nodding her head, actually, like, "Yep, yep." That's Crash, all right. Harry nearly upset his ink bottle. And then more words appeared on the page. I know all about the Hi, Tom. secrets. Hi, Tom. It's Tom Riddle. Opened and a girl was killed. It's I Tom the Riddle. The chamber all those years ago. Harry paused for a second and then wrote two letters. O K. The pages of the diary began to blow as though caught in a high wind, and then the diary seemed to open up. And Harry was pitched head first into the opening. This is not Super Mario 64. Standing in a corridor in nope. Hogwarts dungeons. It's Casablanca. A crack made by an open door was a boy of about 16. Harry That's all the characters in Casablanca were like Tom 20s Riddle, to 30s. The the no, they they are. Then Harry they are. Okay. But, it, but, but it was the first black and white movie on, that I thought of. I gotta get you out of here. Uh, Come on out in the box. The voice definitely belonged to Hagrid, who. Harry now saw was crouching down in front of a large box. Riddle suddenly stepped out from the doorway. Evening, Rebaeus. It's all over. I'm going to have to turn you in. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. The young Hagrid rose up to his full height and roared at the top of his Do we actually know what house Hagrid was in? He was in Gryffindor. 
And then ah, from out okay. of the box came something. Yeah, he was he was in Gryffindor because I mean I guess canonically Gryffindor is one of the more accepting houses in uh, in Hogwarts, and because Hagrid is half giant, he was probably ostracized from an early age. And a pair of razor sharp pieces. The things scuttled away, tearing up the corridor. I would have assumed that he would have ended up in Hufflepuff, actually. <laughs> Why are you saying that? You're saying that because he's fat? <laughs> no, I'm saying that because he's huge. <laughs> so he's fat. <laughs> no, he's not fat. He's huge. There's a What's big that? difference. Though. Harry could barely get the words out of his mouth. It was Hagrid, Ron. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. I mean, come on! You gotta believe me! Doesn't that make Hagrid like 60 years person. old? It does, Maybe actually. It, may, it also puts Voldemort around his Hagrid 70s. Never meant to kill anybody. Yeah. We've always known that Hagrid was expelled. But the attacks must have stopped after he was kicked out. I'm going to the library to see if I can find information on Tom Riddle. And while I'm there, why don't both of you go and see Hagrid and ask him what happened? Now, in the movie, she certainly makes it to the library, but she's looking up information on, uh, on the noise that Harry is hearing instead of Tom Riddle. I don't know if she means to the library. Mostly because I think that's actually the last time we see her on screen. Court. At least you can mm. use your invisibility cloak to avoid being seen. Remember that you need to collect these to power up your cloak. They only yeah, but short by this point, I think they already have all the information they need on Tom Riddle in the in the book. Um, Ron found out about Tom Riddle because while he was in detention, he was still barfing up slugs. He barfed on a shield that was awarded to Tom Riddle for services to the school. Ah. Nice one, Harry. I'll meet you at Hagrid's. Good luck. Alright, I hope you guys are ready because this is my least favorite part of the game. Welcome to the Sorcerer's Stone stealth section. Cloud, did you did you ever play the uh, PS1 version of the Sorcerer's Stone? Uh, no I did not, as a matter of fact. Nah. Well, in the PS1 version of the Sorcerer's Stone, there was a stealth section that you had to do in order to get to the girl's bathroom in order to rescue Hermione from the drawer. This is that. Only much worse. And it's the, no, not much worse. This is very much just that. And but that still section is the reason really why I've never actually finished uh, Sorcerer's Stone for the PS1. I can't get through that still section, dude. It's okay. Mind you, I've not tried it in what, like 15 years, but. Yeah, and then I bet I bet with your with your new newfound sensibilities at the age at, of all these years of experience, well, now we can f we can unravel a mystery that we've probably suppressed long enough to have forgotten about. Not really. I still have very vivid memories of, of getting pissed off at the uh, at the stealth mission, the stealth section in Sorcerer's Stone. The stealth missions suck. <laughs> Stealth missions do stealth suck. Mission Why suck. the hell is there a stealth mission in Harry Potter? Harry Potter did not need a goddamn stealth mission. I'm Guardian Leviosa. I mean, yes, they they snuck out to go the, to go visit Hagrid's at, at night, but they actually had a permanent invisibility cloak. They didn't need to power it up with goddamn tokens, and they and they traveled together as a group. And when they grow older, they. They won't be able to all hide under the cloak. They just get so darn big. Actually, they still travel as a group in the, in the last movie. If you recall, uh, Ron, and, uh, Ron and Harry are underneath the cloak when... Well, no, Harry is underneath the cloak. Who's when uh, when uh, Hermione goes to and imperson impersonates Bella. Bellatrix. Well, I do remember... In uh, Sorcerer's Stone, they were they, they were all under the cloak, running to the I mean, going to the three-headed dog. I don't remember that much. Fluffy. Fluffy. Yes. Oh, you must mean Fluffy. You're not talking about Fluffy now, are you? That no, that not, thing. No, that's not what he says. It's like that thing has a name. Of course he does. He's mine. Hagrid Hazel. Sorcerer's Stone is not honestly that good of a movie, dude. It's it's important, yes, but it's not it's not really a good movie. 
it's very much like the it's it's the kidsiest of all the Harry Potter movies, and for good reason because Harry's at the youngest age out of any of the out of any of his other appearances. Uh, McGonagall. Yeah. McGonagall. Stand perfectly still, woman. No, we can't do that. We have to kill you. Actually, I want us disabled during this section. Son of a bitch. We can't even catch Flipendo. Can't catch Stupefy, Expelliarmus, or go fuck yourself oh, in the Armus. Totalis. <laughs> Sudden pants explodificus.